Hello beautiful people, what's new? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the first in my series, Tips and Tricks with Amber. Um, today's video is going to be purely on getting a flawless base. On this side of my face, I did the tips that I feel work. Everyone is different, so if you do do stuff that's on this side of the face and works for you, that's fantastic. This is just what works for me. So if you wanna see how I get a flawless base, then please keep on watching. <laughs> So on this side of my face, I'm going to do what I would do that I believe makes it flawless. Um, obviously not every trick works for everyone, so please don't get offended if like you do what I do on this side of the face. So I'm going to be using the same products on both sides of my face, but I'm going to be doing them in ways that don't work for me and turn out cakey and ways that do work for me and don't turn out cakey. So first step on the good side. is primer. I know I said I don't use primer, but after studying like what, what I'm studying, like my course, um, yeah, after my course, I kind of read that primer does help. So I'm trusting the experts, unlike married at first sight experts who are just complete and utter bullshit. Like if you agree, if you're from Australia. Ugh. Um, I'm gonna put primer on this side and I'm gonna compare it to this side and maybe today I'll actually like see a difference because <sighs> okay so primer I'm just gonna take some on my fingers like so that's a bit too much for one side of my face and just rub it all into this side of my face even half the nose, we've got to get half the nose. See if it rubs off. Forehead. I don't know if you're meant to put primer on your eyes, but like, I'm not going to. By the way, I'm wearing a top. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. So I'm going to let that sink in a little bit. Obviously on this side of my face, I am not going to put primer. Nothing new. <laughs> but yeah, if it says in my course that it works then obviously it works so i'm going to be taking the superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation from maybelline and i'm going to put some on the back of my hand and i am going to be putting it on both sides of my face so for this side of my face i am going for this side of my face i'm going to be using a kabuki brush to dab it in and then i'm going to be going in with a beauty blender and then on this side i'm not going to use a beauty well, I've got two. I've got a dry one, so maybe like a quarter of my face, I will do it with a dry one, and then like the top, I'll just leave, you know? So we've got like the three stages. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so that side is done. Now I'm gonna blend that out with a beauty blender. Okay, so that's all blended out on this side. My pores are kind of showing this morning, but you know, whatever. YOLO. YOLO, hashtag swag, hashtag beauty guru, hashtag millennial. Okay, so like, I'll do from here with a dry beauty blender and see what that does. I don't know if anyone actually uses a dry beauty blender. I mean, it took me three years to work out that you meant to wet it. Actually, my friend uses a dry beauty blender and that was the hardest thing ever because I went <laughs> I went to wet it because I was doing her makeup for her birthday. And I went to wet it and it literally would just, it was so dry that it wouldn't even absorb the water. Like it was just a hard, like, <laughs> it was bad. So yeah, I mean dry beauty blenders kind of work, but no. Okay, you can see the difference between no beauty blending Blending with a dry brush, blending with a wet beauty blender. Why do I always stuff up my words? I should probably like be more professional and like cut out the bits that I stuff up, but then I wouldn't be entertaining, so. Sorry. Oh, 
oh, that was just plain stupid. Okay, next step. Concealer. 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 Who am I? Laura Lee. Okay, you're just going to put it under your eyeballs on both sides. And you're going to put it in the middle on both sides. You're going to put it here on both sides and here. And I'm not going to do my nose because I don't want to look like squint. Okay, okay, so on this side I always blend with like, okay, wait, what? <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm going to use a little flat blur. Flat blur. Mm -hmm. Flat brush. And I am going to blend this out a little bit on this side. And then I'll beauty blend it. And then obviously on the opposite side. I'm looking at myself in my mirror. On this side I will only use this. And on this side down this little bottom bit I will use a dry beauty blender. And um, we'll see what happens because I know that there's a difference. Oh. Oh yeah, no, I'm doing it right. It's okay. We're all goods. We're all goods. Sorry if I seem like really vague today. I just feel like my body isn't, like my mind is not where my body is and it's just kind of, it's not fun. I just feel really flat but not like not flat where I'm like oh I'm sad I just feel like I've been drained from this week because I just do all right enough of that let's go in with our beauty blender hello see I'm still my weird self so if anyone here is from Australia do you watch Married at First Sight if so who else hates Jess and Martha and Mrs. Sorrell because she was my fave and everyone cracking it at Mike because he was calling Jess out on being a fake bitch like you go Glen Coco but you know what I don't care because that's what YouTube is you're meant to be weird you're meant to be doing embarrassing shit to get views and you're also meant to talk a lot if you don't talk a lot how are you meant to get the views? The views. Anyway, dry beauty blender here. And then I'm just gonna try and like blend this in a little bit more because I'm looking stupid. I'm looking very stupid. I don't know why I've done like three different parts of my face, but at the end of the day, I have to go out after this. So if I'm looking like shit. Okay, powder time. I got a new powder, but I'm not going to use it because in case it's dusted up because this is like a flawless base and like, oh! So I'm going to be using a flat ended brush to do this side of my face and just pat it in. Um, I feel like it works better. And then on this side of my face, I'm going to use the exact same powder, which I need. Oh, I did not know that. A little puff. Cute. Not going to use it. And then on the other side, I'm going to use a bigger brush, which I feel like it kind of just leaves patches everywhere whereas this is very like and the key is to not use a heap of powder or a heap of product the, the less the better okay powder done now I'm gonna do it on this side of my face with this big boy here I'm just gonna put it oh over our face not all over but we're gonna put a lot on we're gonna really get in there and like pack it with product and then we're not gonna brush it off mama ooh, I didn't mean to make you cry I like Queen Okay, so you can really see the difference like this side is a lot more cakey you can still kind of see the concealer it is creasing a lot more and this side's just really like flat and sheer so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put stuff on top because this video is based around just the base i am not gonna touch on contour and everything just yet because i will do that in another video this is a series even though youtube won't make it a series because i don't have followers but it's a series 
Okay, everybody, so that completes today's video. I hope you liked it. Um, as you can see, this side is a lot more cakey. I tried to dull it down a little bit because I am going out for lunch, but um, you can definitely see a difference. Like, it's creasing a lot more under the eyes. It is a lot more cakey than this side. This side just kind of looks a lot more natural. Like, you can tell I have makeup on, but you can, it's completely different to this side. If you look closely, you can also see my pores a lot more. So, yeah, they're just my tips and tricks on how... I feel works best to get a flawless base. As you can see on this side, it's a lot more sh dulled down. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you do like it, please subscribe down below. I am doing a series on all different parts of the face, so I will be uploading them shortly. So I'll see you all next week for my monthly favorites. Bye.